Hi, this is Dr. Doug. I'm a wellness coach, a fitness trainer, and a lifelong dancer. And I can recommend dancing for everyone. If you can walk, you can dance. Please subscribe to my channel. It really helps with the visibility of these videos. I thank you. Yes, if you can walk, you can dance. I even knew a woman in a wheelchair during a ballet, my ballet classes, uh, who was in the class. She just loved or, um, classical music and would dance with her upper body. And the, another th nice thing about putting kids <clears throat> in a dance class, there's no phones. You can't read a phone or text while you're dancing, nor would you want to. That's always good, right? I recommend partner dancing. I know it's very popular today to dance without being touched. Oh, don't touch me. Okay, well, all right. Uh, that's better than sitting, sitting around watching TV, right? But partner dancing means touching someone else physically and mentally. I'll tell you what happens. If you don't know how to partner dance, you should learn. Uh, swing dancing and salsa and um, ballroom are the most popular forms in the United States. Pick one. Pick the, pick the music you love the most and send your kids off to that class and have them dance and learn to dance. The thing about partner dancing <clears throat> is that people touch each other and the lead, the choreographer, learns to make decisions. It's constant decision making for three or four minutes. That's responsibility. Boys usually do that. They jump right in there. That's a natural for them. Girls could do it. Boys usually do it. And the other partner is the follow, dances the follow. She learns to trust his decisions. Isn't that like a marriage? Isn't that like a, a partnership? A typical partnership. Yeah. Boys and girls learn to relate to each other after years of avoiding each other, which is, in my opinion, not healthy. It certainly does not trust them to live in an adult world, but swing dancing or partner dancing does. For three minutes, you're in love. These two people are in love. They're having a great time. He's responsible for making all the decisions and keeping her safe and making her look good. And she's responsible for trusting him and following his lead. Doesn't that sound like love? I also recommend ballet, something like ballet. Very strenuous. I'll tell you, the first week I did ballet, whoo, it kicked my butt. I got used to it. I got tough. It strengthens your core. because. Generally, you don't have anybody to lean on, and you're doing all these fancy things on one foot. You're jumping in the air. That's a lot of core, a lot of core work, and it's very strenuous. Uh, it also teaches boys how to follow. Because boys usually aren't very good at following, looking at someone and copying their movement. That was always tough for me. But you gotta learn that too. You gotta learn to follow, and you gotta learn to lead. So ballet will teach boys and girls to follow the lead and do what someone else does so there you have it dancing is good for everybody especially children especially at that age of middle school and uh, this is off of a um, I got this off of a, an article that I read about somebody um, who developed a whole therapy a whole dance therapy for his school it's a, it a junior college school I mean I'm sorry junior high school yeah so I'm going to post that link below in the description. Once you look that up and check it out, uh, he looks like a very in innovative teacher. This is Dr. Doug for Body Trust. Let's go dancing. Please remember to subscribe to my channel. See you next time.